It's Motivational Monday. Mm -hmm. All right, Nick, pop quiz. Yes. How'd you start your morning today? Oh, my gosh. Oh, the alarm goes off at 226. I have to get up out of bed, go across the room to turn it off, and then I have to contemplate how I'm going to get through the day. <laughs> I'm guessing you have it down to the second. I, absolutely down to the second. And then it's shower, and then it's dress, and then it's make lunch, and then it's out the door. Right. By the second. Yeah, well, exactly. naturally, studies show 92% of people have a morning routine, but it's so important. You begin to rely on your morning routines. Yeah. It's something that you count on. You can lean on it, right? Yes. Rich Bracken is here with some answers on this motivational money. Good to see you again, Rich. Good to see you. And you said 226, like Central Time, right? Yeah, two, yes, oh Central Time, AM. And oh they're all gosh. even numbers, which I love. Oh, that's right. There, there's there's another routine factor right there. I do there. not like odd numbers. I do not set my alarm to odd numbers. Interesting. Okay, so we'll numbers. add that to the list of things you need to do in your morning routine. Okay, right? there you go. Yeah, so why is it so important, Rich, to have a routine? Well, morning routines are fantastic because they take a lot of the guesswork out of what we're doing. So when we wake up, our brain is automatically starting, right? So if you're having to do things or having to change your mind on what's going on or you don't have an idea of what's going on, it starts taking away from your brain capacity. For people like me, we can't afford any kind of lo loss of brain capacity. At the first thing in the morning. <laughs> Uh, but also it gives you control over your mood. So, you know, you have your routine. It sets you in the right motion. You know the things that are going to be coming and you know what's going to be happening. So you have more control over your emotions and your success as the day kicks off. That is so true because what if there is a break in that morning routine that you rely on? Yeah. Right. 911. I mean, it's yeah. it, it, it can, it's giving me heart palpitations just thinking can, about my routine being broken. Yes. Right. It can it can have a that can set you off on the wrong foot for the whole day. Absolutely, absolutely. Any kind of break in that routine will just completely send you in a different direction that you don't want to be in. Yeah, and it's interesting, Rich, you mentioned the uh, brain power thing. This is not a joke. I remember years ago, I read an article about President Obama, and they were saying that he didn't pick out his clothes. Mm -hmm. You know where I'm going? Yep. You yeah, because exactly it's going. like he had so many decisions to make. Studies show the more decisions you make, by the end, of the, you, your decision making gets worse. Right. Oh, interesting. So it's like, right. take the easy ones out of the equation so you can save the horsepower mentally. And so many leaders and executives are the same way. They, they usually have two colors of suits, they stay with the same suits, everything is predictable. And they do it the night before, which is a big part of success mm. in the morning, too, when you make those decisions the night before. Okay. So he didn't have to use that brain power to pick out, even picking out your clothes takes that power. So we've talked about habits that help us get through our morning routine and get us out the door. I suppose there are some habits that we should probably try to avoid. 100%. Number one, stay off your phone. Now, I understand I'm the same way. My alarm is on my phone, so I turn my alarm off. But when you get into your phone, you get into your email, you get into your social media, you're spending that power. You're giving your emotions away, which is really detrimental. So think about when you get down that spiral of emails or spiral of text messages or spiral mm. of social media, mm. it's pulling on you from the word go. So if you're laying there and you're scrolling your social media first thing in the morning, you're, you're throwing your emotions out the door. You're throwing your control out the door. You're throwing your good mood out the door. Yeah. And, and the other thing that um, I've also heard, Rich, is that, you know, yeah, the tendency is, especially in our business, you want to feed your head with information. Right. right? But, uh, like, playing a song, like, just something that yes. gives you some good mojo is, like, a good thing to do. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And you guys know, I mean, I've talked about music for years, and music is my go-to first thing in the morning. And I have a playlist of good mood songs, intentional good mood songs that I know are going to put me in a good mood, or I know are going to give me energy, I know are going to put me in the right direction. And not only starting the day, but as the day goes on. So those are really key to have those. And so I, and if you have yours, I would love to know what they are. Mine, Baby I'm a Star by Prince and Happy-ish by Chris Calico are two of my favorite songs because they put me in a really good mood first thing in the morning. So, yeah. Pat, I know you're, you're what, a big Spice Girls fan? Yeah, I we am talked a big about Spice that before, Girls fan. Right? So, yes. But if you have those songs... If you want to be my lover, I, every day at 5 a.m. I mean, who, who doesn't love that song, right? So building that song and having that song to start your day puts you in a good mood, thinking about singing and dancing and going mm. in that right direction. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll play Rush, Spirit of the Radio. That would get, I knew get that, me. Yeah, I, I it would get me in the proper I mood. I knew you had Rush. Work. Yep, I knew you had Rush. Rush on the mind. I, I did. Great topic. Yeah. Great, great to see you. Yeah, great to see you in guys person. Too. It's, it's so true, though, because if I find myself breaking routine and getting on my phone, yeah. I, I find myself just like, it's, I'm like, I'm, I'm, where am I? I'm lost. Right. I need to get back on track. Or again. if you have to get gas, yeah. you know, you have to stop to get, you know, it's everything. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. whole day's out of sorts now. Yeah, so. that routine is key. You didn't, maybe didn't get it this morning, everybody, but tomorrow morning, <laughs> start with your new routine. All right, I love All it. Right. See Good you again stuff. soon, buddy. Good to All see right. you again. Rich Bracken with us. Thank you. Well,